Hey DPS fifth graders, we are here for lesson four, which is our final lesson regarding our essential question of how does a poet's use of structure and language allow them to convey their voice and message. Today we're going to be working to determine the theme of a poem and quoting accurately from that text to support our inference. All right, so remember to pause and rewind as you need so that way you can have appropriate understanding and make sure that you're reading and getting everything down. And of course, make sure that you have something to write on and write with. All right, so we know that we read to learn when reading poetry. We're specifically reading to learn that message that the poet is conveying and poets can use structure and language to do that. That message goes along with our theme, right? Theme is the message. So today we're gonna to be reading Billy Collins on turning 10 and trying to determine the theme or the message of that poem and supporting that claim with evidence from our text. So we're gonna be filling out this graphic organizer together. You have a very similar one for your assignment. So let's go ahead and start by just reading the poem straight through. Go ahead and pause and read it and then come on back once you are finished with reading it. All right, so you should have paused and read the, uh, the poem. As we're moving forward, now that we've read it for the first time, let's now read it again and trying to determine the theme of the poem. So, here's our second read. So as I'm reading through, I notice that there's a lot of talk about growing old, not only with him turning 10, but he talks about how he's getting older. He talks about how he used to be young, um, remembering every digit. So what happened when he was at four, what happened when he was at nine, and then he talks about how when he's growing older, he's, he's kind of um, growing more mature. He's losing some of that innocence. He's thinking about things more seriously, thinking about how that late afternoon light is falling solemnly. He says it's the beginning of sadness. It's time to say goodbye to his imaginary friends because he's turning that first big number of 10. And then it kind of ends in a very solemn way about how now he knows more um, things. He's not as innocent anymore. He knows that when he skins his knees, he's going to bleed. All right, so what is that theme? So the theme is that youth does not last forever, right? He's talking about as I'm growing older and learning more, his innocence is fading. So I'm going to start backing that up. Well, the first quote that I could do, and if there's many that we could pull, but the whole idea that makes me feel like I'm coming down with something, that's right at the beginning of our poem. So he's nervous about turning older. He knows what he's leaving behind. This is the beginning of sadness, I say to myself. So the speaker is about to be a year older, and he notes how that innocent happiness he used to have is no longer present. And it's time to say goodbye to his imaginary friends. Once again, backing up how he's saying goodbye to that innocence and growing up and becoming more mature. All three of these support this theme because they all directly have to do with it. Youth does not last forever. He's turning older. He knows what he's leaving behind, going back with that innocence. He's going to be a year older, again, noting how that innocence is behind saying goodbye because he's saying goodbye to his innocence. So all of these directly back up that, uh, that claim that I'm saying for the theme of the poem. All right, so you're gonna complete that same sort of graphic organizer for your assignment for this lesson and that graphic organizer and the poem, which is called The Clock Man, can be found on the next page of your Canvas module. So go ahead and head there when you're ready.